Hello everybody. I hope everybody had such a wonderful Christmas and even if you don't celebrate Christmas I hope you have been keeping well over the last week at this very busy time of year. Uh, it's Boxing Day here now today and as I said before I'm going to be working on my precious collage book and for those of you who don't know what that is a couple of years I ago I had a, a challenge and I asked if people would send me one precious thing you know it could be a, a little piece of lace or a button or a piece of um, collage paper or anything like that and I have spent the last two years well the last year or so uh, I can't even remember how long ago it was now I should have checked that I'll put it on the screen um, last year I spent some time making some papers and the year before in the middle of the year um, and this year I intend to finish it so I have not opened this since last um, December between Christmas and New Year I popped it away and this is the first I've taken it out again so we'll have to refresh our memories of what it looks like and it's getting quite big and there's a little what's this one Oh, okay, that goes in the thing. So, we'll have to refresh our memories together of what I did. These are some tags I made. They are, um, they're made from, it's like that pallon, that stiff interfacing and fabric with some of the laces that I was sent. So, they're done on one side, they're not finished. So, at I will be able to use those throughout the book. So. Okay, and they're just some um, pieces of wadding that I've used for the cover. The cover is not done yet. And this little tag here. So inside the front cover we have this book that I was sent and in the book it tells me what I've used so far in the book and who it was from. Um, okay, yes, 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 page one which would be this one such as was made from the fabric from Sophie of Sophie's Shabby Corner. Lace over the background from Patricia Brightwell. Her precious thing was wrapped in it. Um, so I've kind of done that throughout on all the pages so that I will always, you know, I think, oh, well, where did this come from? And, um, you know, I'll be able to look in here and find out where that came from, which was Krista. The buttons on the lace are from Krista. Krista O'Neill. Krista Neal, who is, oh, can I remember? No, I don't remember her YouTube channel off the top of my head. But that's where that came from. Um, and this little tag here just reminds me that page four is further in the book. So I must have, sometimes things get a little bit out of order. That's page two, that's page three, and then it went straight to page five. So if I put that there, probably needs a paper clip on it, I think. Just so, oh, I've got one here I can use. Okay, just so that I don't lose that. Okay, so that's what goes in there and I don't I must remember every every time I do a page and things I write it in that book so this is the first page so far so all these things on these pages have been sent to me by beautiful people so and the pages of course they're not all put together yet so um, and that's the second page oh how lovely and there's buttons in here Oh, this is lovely to see again. Oh, how beautiful. This lace, it's just gorgeous. I think that, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And there's laces underneath there. Oh. And this is all um, hand stitched. And there's a bit of machine stitching in it too, but a lot of it is hand stitched 
on you can sort of see that on the in-between one look at that gorgeous piece of lace there just beautiful and that one there and we've had some rain what a blessing that was for Christmas it's rained since New Year's Eve on and off through Christmas Day and a bit this morning and oh it's just lovely everything's getting green again oh wow look at that look at all these gorgeous buttons and this necklace I love that An applique piece then there's this beautiful piece here at wedding appliques and a butterfly look at this piece here and they're just all collaged together there's no theme for anything they're just all collaged together oh this is lovely to look through again oh look at that oh wow Oh, it's beautiful. I love seeing these again. This pretty trim here and all the ruffles. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's that doily, isn't it? It's so fine. Look at that. So fine. It's just lovely. Look at this tangle here. Look at those pearls, beautiful. Oh it's, oh, it's lovely. <laughs> I like this. I have to look through it to um, get back into the, the swing of what I was doing. And I think that can be a pocket there as well. It doesn't have to be, but I left it open in case I want it to be. And there's the other side of that beautiful doily piece. Oh, and the lady. Oh, it's beautiful. So pretty. Oh wow. Oh, I was wondering what this was, and it was some um, yarn that someone sent me, and I used it to make the stalks of the flowers. And then these lovely applique pieces. Oh, and I've stitched up there, yeah. And this butterfly. Hmm. And then we have this linen handkerchief and a doily piece. Oh, that's a, like a cameo type thing. These beautiful antique laces and buttons. Oh, and laces. That one still needs doing because that I think there's only a couple of pages. There's that one, and there was that one that I said was like a pocket. There's that that one there as well. And that's the other side of the handkerchief. Better put that. And then, oh, oh, in the hand. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, in the tassel. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I'm going to use that to make one too, I think, just to copy that. It's beautiful tassel, isn't it? It's really lovely. It's like a curtain. Oh, and this beautiful marker seat piece here and the black bead. That, um, wedding appliques and these lovely flower pieces. Oh, so pretty. And then there's the, oh, okay, this is that beautiful antique bow. With the laces and that's that's is that a pocket no it's not a pocket but I can still decorate there um I can still decorate there although I could use that as a pocket 
and there's the that's the inside of the cover so far and I can add to that um, that's all there's a, it's a combination of hand stitching and machine stitching so I think I've only used glue a couple of times in here and I know I think I know uh, oh, look at that tassel. There was a butterfly, I think. I had to use glue to glue the butterfly to some fabric to make the butterfly strong enough because it has it has a netting behind it. That's right. I did do that, and there may there may have been. Um, because all this is all stitched on so but there's not even if there is gluing there wouldn't be a, a lot in here at all so that's stitched on yeah because that's just the way I wanted it I want to take my time and do it properly or you know the way I wanted to do it so we've got that so there's only like two pages to work with so I'm going to be quite have to be quite inventive um, on how I do things. Um, but what I need to do now is have a look at the precious things that I haven't used yet so I can remember what they are. So let's just pop that to the side there. Okay, so I thought the first thing I would use would be this little um, item from Jeannie Dreamer and I did have to refresh my memory. This is something that Jeannie sent to me. She received two of these about 30 years ago when her daughter had her first child. This is a Polish tradition. It's a little heart and it is attached to the baby's garment when it's being blessed. Um, it's like, you know, blessed is the pure of heart or something like that. It's relevant in Jeannie's religion. And she has sent me one which is quite touching actually. What I thought I would do with this is attach the whole little booklet in here. So it doesn't take away from that beautiful lace at all. And I just thought it, it kind of goes nice there, doesn't it? So I'm going to be hand stitching that little booklet along there so even that will lift up as well but I just think it fits so nicely in that little part there so that's what I'm going to be doing with genies and I need to write that in the book and that is on the one two third page and that's that beautiful um, antique lace from Trisha so that one's that sorted um, put that there like that. They're pretty well full. That's that beautiful piece from Jane, and we could add something here if we wanted to. Uh, Just keep looking first. That will stay where it's meant to go once the book is stitched together. So we have this piece here. Now there's this, we've got this, that that might be nice on there. And this is from Julie DeCosta. That seems to go nicely on that page, doesn't it? Or, or it could go like there, or it could go up the top like that. That looks quite pretty. That way I can seal the pocket, but I can still have a pocket in here as well if I want to. I could add something here, and we have this lovely antique lace. In here from Persia that I can add. 
I could do that. I could hand stitch a piece of that there. Maybe. Um, what else have we got? That's a pink piece. Another flower. Oh, we've got that lovely doily there too, don't we? got the one from Robin and I've got the doily there. Oh, I also have some of this. These gorgeous lace pieces here. Um, from Grace. It's very delicate. I can put that there as well because it goes very nicely with this gorgeous lace here as well. I could maybe put that one, maybe have that one there like that. Like that. And that one like that. And then, um, what else do we have in here? All right. Uh, I can use something down the center that is like an extra piece. I'm thinking once I get all the other pieces. So I will cut these. Where's all my scissors? My scissors have gone walkabout because of Christmas. So I'll just cut those there that we will place this one back into this one, Peugeot, this gorgeous antique lace, it's from Bruges in Belgium. Bruges in Belgium and Bruges makes beautiful laces. I remember looking that up when she sent that to me. And this one is from Grace. And Grace has this gorgeous larger piece in here which I will use as well. And there's that netted piece there. I, will, I won't use those on this page, so but I still want to use that. So I'll put that back in. We've used the piece from Debbie Julie da Costa there, sorry. Is that one? One, three, there. Like that. Okay. Um, and we've got Jeannie Dreamer. Where did I put that? Put that over there so I don't forget that because I've got to write them down. Okay, so I will come back and hand sew all those on, but I don't do that on film because it takes far too long. Okay, we have this page here. We need to do something with this. So I have this lovely doily here. It's so beautiful. And this is from Tina, isn't it? Yes, Tina. Let's have a look. Oh, it's so delicate and pretty. I wonder if we can put that there. I mustn't cover all the fabrics and things, but it is a collage book, and that's the way they work. Unless I put it... Well, if I put it in the middle there like that, we still get to see these piece here, this piece, and the silver fabric underneath. Why do I keep thinking? I have to look through my book. I keep thinking I've used a little bit of this already. Um, I'll have to have a look. But anyway, that's the doily from Tina that she got, that she sent. 
That can go there. And something there see I've got this button this earring it's so pretty maybe That's that doily. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. I can't. That is not the one precious thing. This was a gorgeous gift from Robin, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful. She couldn't cut it, and I'm not quite sure I could either because it's just gorgeous. But we are going to use this lovely earring. said there's a photo and I'm going to have to think about how to incorporate the photo. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the tiny little beads on it. It's just beautiful. Um, oh, don't get it stuck, Jeanette. I will probably remove the back piece of the earring just so it doesn't stand up too far. I love the little tiny beads on that. And put it, do we want it in the center? Like that. I could make a flower with something, couldn't I? Just pop that back. It's so delicate. Um, I wonder if I could... Oh, it's not big enough to make a flower out of, is it? I'll have to use that for something else. Looking for something. Um, I've used mm. oh goodness uh into gear here so I can think. See, I did that. That's all right. uh, you know, I'm just thinking that might look pretty there. Cover up that a little bit of that, hand stitch that there perhaps. Mm. I kind of like that there. So we might do something a bit different here. What can we do here? Maybe we need a bit of colour on this page. That way the green can go, because that's grey, so that's fine. I have this handkerchief here. Let's 
see if we can do something with this. See, there is a way that you can twist something like this and you go like that and you can actually make a flower out of it and you pin it into place and stitch it and then I could have that in the center um, maybe with a little doily piece or you know because I've got other pieces I can play with as well um, even make a little flower out of that or something in the center there and I could um, uh, doesn't have to be in the center at all it could be up like that. It could be up like that. Something in the middle of that. And then I could make something to go down here. What can we do? And incorporate some of these flowers. We want two? No, it might be too big with two on that page. Um, oh, I know. Have that there. I could get a bit of this. What's this? There's a bow there as well. there and maybe these flowers here I could she's just put a little bit of glue behind those so I could have like one two three and I could have a bit of this lovely lace here underneath that running along. Ooh, that might clash with the bow a bit. The bow comes from this one. That's from Debbie. Have that go there like, like that. And then this, like that, there, like that, maybe have that there, but might want to put something behind the bow so the bow stands up. That will look different. Um, maybe I'll trim the the hanky down, put a little piece of it behind the flat, the bow, perhaps, like that. Um, oh, there's this piece of lace here also, and this 
and they uh, like that. Just a moment. Alright, maybe with this lovely one here, I might gather that and make a little gathered ruffle along the base there. Uh, trim this one down a little bit and put it behind the bow there. They're from Debbie, that's from Persia. We have this one and can we use anything? Other than that, and we're going to make a little flower inside, aren't we? Oh, can I do that? Me? Oh, what about? I could use one of these pieces. Because that has been cut from something originally, so there's no problem with cutting that anyway. Um, so pretty, isn't it? Look. Oops. So maybe we do that. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Yes, that could work quite nicely. The grain will go with the grain. We'll pop this back in here. Uh, I have to I have to I want to, I don't have to, but I want to make a little um almost like a cameo thing, I think. Make sure I'm not there. Um, uh, come on, Jeanette, you can find something here. What's this? It's a little card, isn't it? That's like a, oh, isn't that pretty? That's from Tamara Beret. Bear it. I was going to say that cut side of the card is quite pretty, isn't it? So maybe oh, it's got her details on the back. Because oh, I was thinking maybe I could put that there and have the bow up the top there. Hmm. Or maybe I could make something like that, since it's got her details on it. I won't be using that that much. Uh, let me think. What's this? What's this? It's Judy Weber. I just saw this pretty paper in here, and whether it's. Uh, Okay, see that's like a little pocket made out of pretty paper. Maybe, remember that's not going to be quite as big as that. Maybe we could use that somehow there. So I can have a little tuck spot to in Insert picture of Robin's sister in there. That might be a good idea. I could cut this down just a little bit, you know, so it's not quite as big, maybe to there. Because that's just something that was was holding something. There's nothing in there now. So that's what we might do.
So we've turned that into like a little coin envelope and that can sit on there. Like that needs some glue on there and I think because it's a little bit difficult to get into. Uh, okay, so that can go there like that and that can go there like that on top. Mm -hmm. I'll ink a little bit under there so it's not quite so bright white. Okay, I'm back. So, this is all I'm doing for the video today. I'll show you what I've done. Um, that's the first page there. Second page is here. We have a flip over here. I have stitched on this little book type thing from Jeannie Dreamer and I've left the, the back of it open too so I will put a little tag in there and we made these I think these were one of the first thing we made all these little tags and they're not finished yet um, but that's where that will go so that page was that and then I had This page here, I did it exactly how I said. I put the two vintage laces down here, the beautiful flower, and then I also put this um, lovely pink trim underneath the flower there. There still is a pocket in there to put things in, and I think I will put something down the center of that at some stage as well. So I've done that page there, and I've done is the other one this one here I did this I did uh, trim the corners of the handkerchief I've put one of the corners down the bottom here added the pocket there's the little embroidered flowers and the two vintage laces this is the lovely applique piece and this is the uh, earring from Robin Osborne and what I'm going to do is, I haven't done it yet, but it will, you'll see that when the book is completely finished, I will print out a photo of Robin's sister and put it on the back of this little tag here. I did leave the back of that open as well. So there's another spot for something else behind there. And I will probably put something here as well and maybe here. So, but for today that is done. And the last thing I did was I stitched the lovely doily from Tina on that back page there. So there we go. That's my video for today. I'm not sure. I think it might be video 14. Um, it's filling up quite nicely and the cover is still big enough that when I make the cover that will come up like that and somehow attach there. I have written in my book all the things that I did today so that's going back in that front cover there and I will sit down tomorrow and do some more. I have got this flower. I did check through the book and I haven't seen that I've used that beautiful piece of silk so I have that piece of silk. I also have the enamel button and the lace to use up and I wasn't sure if I'd used anything from Claire Bar Barrows yet. She sent me a bag, there wasn't one specific thing for her precious thing. She sent me a variety of beautiful antique things. So I will probably use some of that on our next video. And um, I'm thinking this flower, because it's, you know, it's dimensional, what I was thinking, I don't want too much more thickness going on. But when I do the cover, I might use some of Claire's things for the cover as well, that would be nice. I could use that as part of the closure, so that comes up like this you know, like that. Um, it's just a thought because it's quite dimensional. It would work well as something like that and then decorate. So that's how I'm thinking I may want to use that. And then of course, with lots of 
other things because like I said before there's other things people sent me apart from the one precious thing I can go ahead and do some decorating of the tags and things and pop them in you know maybe add a pocket here and there and just use some of those things in this precious collage book and um, play with the inside cover a little bit more and make the outside cover as well so that's my video for today I hope you enjoyed that I will put a link to the playlist where I'm decorating all the previous pages in here if you're interested in seeing that and I shall probably see you in another video tomorrow doing some more of this lovely collage book so thank you so much for joining me take care now bye bye